Wow. What are you seeing this? <laughs> Back guys, Mick here. Um, thank you for joining me. Main breeders just here at Halfads. Wallace has went and ordered with a new battery for Bertha. And it is a beautiful day today. Well, it was until we started with the bloody chemtrails. We're going to head home now um, and we're going to install Bertha's new heart. <laughs> battery in um, I kind of feel like I'm doing bloody surgery or something so let's get sorted please don't leave my room again you're the only thing that made me feel Scalpel. like this year Well, hello again folks, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, I'm Mick, this is Willow. Hi. Doing our cleaning. You've joined us at Otterburn Battle Site. Um, we've been driving around for a while actually. We drove through Northumberland National Park. Um, there's no chance of getting parked up anywhere around there. Um, but we found this on the way past. It seems like it's on a bit of an angle, but it's all right. Well, that's just been dying to get in the van and get it cleaned out. We went away and we come home. We kind of just leave everything in the van, spend the night at home, and then wait until we come back to wait to take it. Something like that, isn't it? Something like that. <laughs> the fact that it just hates the seats, just shit, doesn't like stuff getting treaded on the carpet. It keeps everything nice. Yeah. Isn't it? It is. Oh, that's it. Uh, we just ran over our sheep, so we kept it. We'll lay it down as a rug. <laughs> so, this is how much of a tilt the van's on. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's on a bit of a tilt. That's not so bad though. I mean, we'll put the pillows up this side, lie down that way, and it just feels like you'd... <laughs> <coughs> a little bit gyrating going on there, mm. honey. So, well, that's just going to cook some tea. Um, she's having an argument with herself. Does she cook tea? Did she just do a snack? I think you've decided to cook tea, haven't you now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So she's going to cook tea, put some music on. I might take this for a walk up there and see what's about. It's like it's pretty wicked for me to do it. Isn't it? There might be some monkeys in the tree, I might go and join them. Yeah, I'm a cheeky monkey.
beautiful. Is it nice? Is it? There's my boat. Come for the wedding boat. <laughs> Told Wallace that this place is haunted and there's battle cries and screaming. And she started shitting herself. <laughs> but if there was, if that really did happen. Scotland! <laughs> Freedom for Scotland! Well. <laughs> that would be me still on my boat over there. <laughs> Captain of my <me> ship. <laughs> We did go for a little walk, it was a tiny walk because Willow got scared of the ghost. You really don't hear battles going on when you're asleep, do you? That's why I was reading the stories of hearing crying and uh, battle cries and men screaming. But I like stuff like that. It was the tiniest walk ever. That and me being in absolute agony today doesn't help. Yeah, so Willow will give us some Reiki. I do usually meditate since coming off the opioids if I'm. In a, a certain, if I'm in the same position for too long, I get this fizzy back kind of. I w worry because on a night time, it's not so bad now, is it though? When I first stopped, it was horrible. It was like I was riding a bike. Yeah. I used to worry that I was disturbing my ass. It was horrendous that, and trying to meditate and sit, and it's, it's, it's like you get this build up of electricity in the, the bottom of your back, and it just shoots down your leg, either or. And, and if, you, if you don't move it, it actually. Although it's like a really intense tickle, it hurts. Um, that's starting to subside a bit now, thankfully, because that was one of the biggest things. That was one of the things I hated most was restless legs and this, this, this spasm thing in the lower back. So I'm gonna have to start trying the meditation thing again. The thing with mine, the problem I've got is, because I've got an artificial joint and I'm on my second one, the bone's actually grown around the metal joint and it's now grown. All these little bones in your hand here, I've got bits of bone grown around the artificial joint and into all this, so it's 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 limited any movement of it. Um, it it's better some days because it's not as swollen, it's not as painful. But today is really one of them days where I can't kind of do nothing, so it's going to be a, a movie night, I think. A nice chill out. Wallace was up with the foxes this morning. <laughs> she was up at Fox O'Clock. <laughs> so she's seen her first fox and. I'm trying to figure out what it was because I've never seen one before. I've never seen the first one. Yeah, it was really, really too early. <laughs> Hence, like I was saying in the other video, at home, you're up at 5 o'clock, 5 mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, she's up. When we're in the van, we don't want to get it. Just uh, making see, the most I of think, it. Yeah, I think it's because like, we don't have many bodies in that day. No. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stick this pillow on, have me cut that and wrap something on my arm and cut it off. Mm. That was horrible, that noise that just made then. Ugh. Don't do that one again now. Oh. Okay. So it needs to do, it needs to do that. that Ugh, stop it. Oh, I'm just glad. Anyway, I'm going to put this film on and this cup I probably stuffed my face full of crap. Sometimes like we hypnotise you know so like nice like sweet things taste like shit. So that I just stop eating as much rubbish like. But I really like it. Hot <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Good morning guys, bit of a windy one again, the wind still hasn't died down, um, pretty noisy through the night, actually I was waiting for a tree to land on me, I was quite tempted to move because of the wind, um, but it was alright, we're getting sorted now, sort the van out, we're going to go and have a drive about, we find something to do today as well don't we, we're going to go and find a garden place or something like, a, like an outdoor garden, but weather wise I, I don't know if it's too windy or 
I might have to find something to do indoors. Maybe just find a castle or something. I don't know. It is in a bit. I'ma give it to you G straight And I'm out beat slay I'm not a human being Ballin' like Kareem sipping on codeine I lean with it Rock with it Got coke dreams Boom Back Boom in the trap When trap meets house You get a trap house Got two stacks Throw it at a strip dancer Big booty hoe Said she from Atlanta What an absolute time we've had trying to find a gardens to visit. You know, like a nice hall in gardens or a castle in gardens, which is what we had in mind. Well, how long have we been driving? Oh, all morning. 20 past one now. We set off, what? It was all 10 o'clock we set off. Went to Barnard Castle, had a coffee, um, got a Greg's, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We've been to a few we've different been to a few places. And all the gardens are closed everywhere. Every time we pulled up, garden closed. Or oh, we did try Barnard Castle first, but we couldn't no get park. park yeah. We couldn't get park anywhere near it. So, so oh well, we'll try. Twenty-five minutes drive. There's a there's a, a hole in gardens place. It looks nice. We'll try that. And it was Drives just it. the end of a street with a yeah. pretty bunch of flowers on the end. <laughs> Middleham Castle because we've drove through Catwick now, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So we've came from. We left out of Burn this morning. We've drove through. We drive through the Dales. Yeah, we've had a drive through the Pennines. We drove through the Pennines. Came through Catwick, Richmond, Seems and now so we'll have though. I've had a beautiful drive. We missed the driving park because I had to cut the driving down because of the fuel cost. Um, every day and every night, together. Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Ready? Stop for the coffee, mate. Coffee. Um, stretch your legs a bit because, like I say, we've been driving for ages. And now we're going to set off to Middleham Castle and see what's there. See you soon. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just literally says was, where's the castle? <laughs> Seriously? Running through the lights of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chance Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's all for shell and case melt. Oh, what a world, what a world! <laughs>
She's gone back down. Um, so I'm going up. Oh. Let me out! Let me out! Look at this view though. This is one thing I do know. The reason you've got a small window here. So you big up this side, that's where the arch is for when they're out in there. At that angle, we'll have the room to move to be able to shoot people from the windows. And on the outside, it's just a little tiny square hole, so it's a really t hard target to hit. Just a little bit of information for you. Look at this, though. find me here when the world thinks that I've disappeared you know just where to look you know just where to look and you you have a heart of gold and I look forward to growing old I'll be old with you Oh, I'll be old with you I do, I do, I do, I do I do, I do, I do And I plant a garden in the summertime And pick you flowers in the rain or shine Just because I can just because I can um, There was no written record of a castle in Middleham before 1216 um, so the reckon that's when this would have been built but at the south of the castle there's actually remains of an older castle underneath um, on Williams Hill which they reckon could have been built there from anything at 10 86 or something like that on once It's a bit of useful information that you'll probably never use. So Richard III gained this castle around about 1471 um, but because he married somebody's daughter um, Neville he gained more power so he didn't just have this castle he also had Barnard Castle and Richmond Castle as well and that was sort of how it became so powerful. And another really useful piece of information here. All this castle, see all this here? It's all made with rocks from the earth. It's a horrible thing to have. It's like, uh, I've got no reason to be scared of them or I've never... So you know, this is, a, this is around about the time I would jump scare her or do something to make her scream. I can't run up with this because that's a bit nasty. Um, but Willow's just come up here, conquering her fears of heights. Um, she doesn't really like wooden bridges or wooden, wooden steps and stuff like that. She's got a phobia against that because I don't think you feel safe, do you? No. She's waiting to just fall through it. But she's running, she's up here. She'll be proud. It's alright. Do you want to get me on? No, I need to. 
Like, so I wish you left your broomstick in the house, didn't you? Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. His legs and everything go like, I can't, I can't Can I get you to come back and do that again so I can record you? <laughs> 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 oh, look at that. We'll just walk off in the hoof. Eventually found somewhere to park. Um, don't ask, ask us. I, I don't know how, but we ended up in Coniston. Um, it was a lovely drive though. Yeah, so we found this little park up right next to this. Um, I'm gonna park up right next to this little lake. <laughs> yeah, it's just a puddle. I assume we wouldn't spend the night here. It's flat enough. It'll be quiet enough. Yeah, you've actually got butter on your bread as well. Oh, butter as well. Uh, this is a little gravel area here. Um, it's ideal actually because it's just nice and flat. Um, obviously, it's not about, but we only need really somewhere to just spend the night, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to have to start planning with journeys, I think, because what we do is we just well, always do it, don't we? We'll always just go out. No, and but this time we didn't have a plan, so we're just closed. Yeah, but it was a last minute plan as well, wasn't it? We planned on the way, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're really going to have to stop. Like I see, we're new to this, so you know, it's all, it's all still exciting. We just we just want to be up and out. I'll, I like the driving. We love going for drives. Um, the driving's the most fun part, which we had to cut down on because of the, the diesel cost. Um, so today we've just enjoyed it. We've done some canny miles. Um, Coniston, yeah. right in Coniston. So we've, we'll have we'll have. We woke up this morning in Otterburn and we're going to Catwick, we've been to Richmond, we've been uh, been through the Yorkshire Moors, the North Yorkshire National Park, we had a drive through That's Northumberland, we drove through Northumberland National Park. We've been out all the day. <laughs> we've, we've done some miles and done some I driving. Um, but there is a plan, we have got a, there is one plan we've got for maybe for next week or the week after and that's Stonehenge in it and yeah. Glastonbury Tor. So we're all going to be going down there, um, going to spend some time around Stonehenge, going to have a tour around Glastonbury tour. Um, we went there last year, absolutely amazing. Same thing, we drove down in the car, slept in it, stayed overnight in the car, slept in the car, and then that's when we started wanting the van, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. the, the Mary Mag is it the Mary Magdalene fountain? In the temple, In the yeah. temple, yeah, we're going to visit the Mary Magdalene temple. Um, it's been a nice day driving. It's been a, it's been a nice distraction for me as well, driving, because that distracts us from... My pain, my pain level's not as bad today. Um, <coughs> yesterday it was just chronic. Yesterday I just I, I actually felt defeated. Um, today it's, it's, the swelling's gone down a bit, so the pain's the pain's eased. Uh, making a couple now, and then we'll just have to find something to see myself. Hopefully this rain stays off because it keeps pissing down. But I can always go skimming rocks in the puddle. But I went and cursed myself. I tell you, it was all that my pain wasn't as bad. The swelling had, the swelling had gone down. Yeah, boom. My hand just, my, my, my hand just, boom. The swelling just jumped in. The pain started again. Um, so we'll always cook some crumpets. So it's probably just going to be in a in in movie or something, maybe.
good morning. Not a very pretty one. It's a bit miserable this morning. It was nice at 7 o'clock. It was sunny. It was warm. But we're getting sorted. We've had a couple of water up. We had a kind of decent sleep last night. But she's getting a haircut today. So we're going to head over. Head, head home. So we've got a nice lovely drive home. Um, but we're not staying home. I don't want to go, home, go, no, go home. So we'll have to get a haircut. Um, and then we're just gonna have to find something else to do. Find something else to go. Is there some, are we were meant to have a heat wave. Where the fuck is this heat wave like? <laughs> heat wave. Well. You see? Yeah, heat wave. They said it's gonna be hot. They said the full of shit. I say. Right, well we're gonna get sorted. We're gonna we're gonna make tracks. We're gonna go and take all us. We're gonna get a haircut. And um, probably catch us in a bit. Mm -hmm. 